Hi everyone, I'm Rincey and this is Rincey Reads. Today I thought I would talk about reading goals. We're halfway through the year and I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about the way that my reading has been going so far this year and how it compares to what I thought at the beginning of the year and all of that stuff and also kind of reflect on what I kind of want to do moving forward. So I'll link up in the cards my 2020 reading goals video and in that video I talk about a couple of things. One of which is the fact that I really prefer making quarterly reading goals and even though I didn't make an official like quarter one reflection quarter two goals video I basically did make quarter one and quarter two reading goals this is mainly because of the way the world <laughs> went and we like went into lockdown and quarantine in March and so it just worked out that way I don't know if I necessarily would have kept my reading goals from quarter one into quarter two if things had gone differently but there's no point in sort of speculating about what would have happened if this because that if didn't happen and so I adjusted accordingly um, and it kind of worked out perfectly to make quarter one and quarter two reading goals weirdly enough. So in that video I talk about how I wanted to read more nonfiction and read more comics so those were both my goals for quarter one and I technically did well in those although I don't know how much of that is really on me. For the nonfiction side, last year I read 12% nonfiction and my goal for this year was to do more than 15% and my stretch goal was to do 20%. Um, in the first quarter of the year I did around 16% nonfiction, which is great, but it's mostly because I did the booktube prize. And then like sort of in quarter two, I completely forgot about nonfiction because again my goal is completely changed and also like the library shut down so it completely changed sort of how I was handling my reading but for the first quarter nailed it and then for the comic side of things I was doing okay my goal was to read two comics every month from the best of the decade list that AV Club put out in March I apparently didn't do it but I did read two comics in April so it kind of all just evens out in my head I probably could have kept going and read two comic books Per month for the months that I've been in quarantine. I do have one, two comics still checked out from the library and then I still own like two or three comics that I need to read so theoretically I could have done it but again my priorities changed and I didn't really care as much so that one I did again okay with but I do think that if the library's hand closed I would have kept going with at least the comic side of things because I would have just gotten the two comic books every month from the library but you know it is what it is. I'm not like super upset at myself for like the way my goals went in the first quarter. I think I did the best I could and it turned out to be a pretty positive outcome overall because you know in 2019 I only read three comics and so I've already doubled it. So better than nothing. So then when quarantine started happening and you know wasn't leaving my house anything like that my goal in my head was to try to read as many books as possible off of my physical TBR. Now when everything was happening I also knew that there was a chance that I might not be in the reading mood because of life and the world and stuff like that. Like everyone reacts to those things differently. However I was very lucky I suppose. I actually read a lot of books while I've been at home. Um, I think reading has been a really strong coping mechanism for me with everything that's happening in the world and so yeah I basically hunkered down with my books and like flew through my physical TBR in ways that I've never done before. So at the beginning of quarantine I had around 65 unread books and my unread book pile now is sitting at around 35 as of this recording and that to me is mind-blowing. Now I didn't read every single one of those books but I did read the vast majority of those books. There were a couple that I didn't DNF. So yeah I've been reading up a storm and I really knocked down my physical TBR quite a bit. So honestly I feel like for the last three months I've been like killing it in terms of reading. So you've already heard me talk about this a little bit if you've been watching my videos for a little while but my goal for the summer is basically to read the three big books that I have sitting on my physical TBR because I realized that while I was flying through my physical TBR I was leaving these like really big books off to the side because one I knew they were going to take a long time and two I knew they were going to take a lot of mental energy which was a thing that was you know sparing during <laughs> quarantine but now that it's summer and like I can at least sit outside on my back porch and read and stuff like that I feel like I have a little bit more mental space for these like 
tougher books. So that's kind of my goals. I talked about this earlier and I've also talked about this in a book riot video, but the three books I want to get through are Grapes of Wrath in June, which I'm on track to do. I want to finish the Frederick Douglass biography that I have in July and then in August I'm going to read Anna Karenina. Will I actually read all three of those? We'll see, um, but that's my goal. And so with that, my goal is also this summer to try to get my physical TBR down to under 30 books. Now you might be thinking to yourself, you just like flew through almost 30 books in the past three months. Why are you only decreasing your physical TBR by like five or six books over the course of three months? There's two reasons for that. One is that I in general slow down my reading in the summertime. Obviously I'm not like going out and doing things the way that I was before but some restrictions have like loosened a little bit in Illinois. We're technically in phase four right now. I'm not like going out to restaurants or doing anything like that but I am like going for walks and like hanging out with my friends in their backyard at from like safe distances and stuff like that. So I do have parts of my day where I am not sitting inside my house reading, um, which I appreciate. It's not a lot. I'm not doing it very often, but it does happen occasionally. So one, I expect my reading to slow down and I'm already seeing that through this month of June. The second thing is that I am starting to get like physical arcs from publishers again. So obviously that's going to like add to my numbers during this like quarantine period. Obviously like no one was sending physical arcs so there was nothing adding to my physical TBR. So it was again easy for me to like get through these books and get the numbers down while there was nothing incoming. Obviously there's not a lot of books coming in but there are books coming in so I do have to account for that. This Third one is kind of the big one and that's my library has reopened for like curbside pickup basically. So I can set things on hold at my local library and pick them up and if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen I already did it. And one of those books I put on hold because of the book two prize and the other two were books that I had on hold already like before they shut down and they just like pulled the holds now. I like forgot that they were there. So I don't plan on like putting more books on hold but it has made me realize that I do still have a stack sitting behind me that I've checked out from the library back in like February or March that are now going to be due in the next like month or two because you know the libraries are back open so they're gonna start expecting you to return stuff. So my goal actually for the summer is really to read these books that I have from the library or at least to you know start them and see if I actually want to read them and if not return them to the library. So I just like kind of pulled all the library books that I currently have checked out in terms of like physical library books not ebooks and I thought I would just like run through them really quickly so you can kind of see what I currently have checked out from my library and what has been checked out from my library for the past, you know, three to four months I haven't touched. <laughs> so first up I have The Majesties by Tiffany Sow. This is a literary fiction with a little bit of a mystery thrown into it. You are following these two sisters who are of Chinese Indonesian descent and one of them is in a coma and another sister is basically the cause of it and I think that the other sister also like murdered part of their family and so this book is kind of like what exactly happened from what I can tell. This came out earlier this year and when I like heard about it slash saw the cover for it I was like oh my gosh I'm so excited to read it. So I like put it on hold at the library, checked it out, haven't touched it since. <laughs> I also checked out Daughter from the Dark by Marina and Sergei Dychenko which is translated by Julia Hersey. These two are the authors of Vida Nostra which I read last year and really enjoyed and then I saw on like Matthew Sharapa's channel I think he talked about it or maybe I saw it on his Instagram that they had a new book that was translated into English. It's not part of that series. It's a standalone from what I can tell um, but it's another fantasy book so I'm excited to just read another book from these authors. Then I have The Janes by Louisa Luna. Um, I read Two Girls Down by Louisa Luna. I don't know how many years ago at this point but I really enjoyed that book and I've always been wanting like more books from this author and so this is one that I think also came out earlier this year. Yeah it has the January sticker on it so um, I got really excited when I found out that she was coming out with a new book so again checked it out from the library. Didn't touch it. <laughs> I also have Yellow Bird by Sierra Crane Murdoch. The use subtitle to this is Oil, Murder, and a Woman's Search for Justice in Indian Country. From what I can tell the synopsis seems to be slightly conflicting with what people are saying about this book but it's part true crime part biography. Um, you are following the this I don't know which in indigenous like sort of nation um, it follows but it follows like people living in North Dakota and kind of this like oil boom that was happening there and then someone like dies and then this 
woman who lives on the reservation is like investigating the murder the person who's investigating the murder is not the author of this book she's writing it as like kind of this third person outsider but it kind of looks at the oil boom that happens as well as the person who died and why this specific woman becomes really obsessed with figuring out what exactly happened here so I've heard kind of mixed things about it but I you know I'm always interested in more books written by uh, native and indigenous authors and I think this kind of would work for that. And then I have two comics that I still have checked out. One of them is Giant Days Volume 4, which I never read. Um, I read Volume 3 earlier this year, and I also checked out Volume 4. I thought I would read them both at the same time. I didn't. And then I have Harka Vagrant by Kate Beaton. I've never read this. I know everyone adores it and adores Kate Beaton. Um, but this is one of the comics that was on the AP Club list. And so I checked it out because of that. And then again, never read it. And then Quickly, the three books that I just checked out. The first one is Murder at the Grand Raj Palace by Vaseem Khan. This is part of the Baby Ganesh series. I've read the first two books in the series. And then um, I think this might be the fourth book in this series, but it's one that I also want to read for a Red or Dead podcast in the future. Then I have Magnetized by Carlos Busquade and translated from Spanish by Samuel Rudder. Um, the subtitle to this is Conversations with a Serial Killer. This is a pretty short book uh, but it's a nonfiction book following the story of these like four taxi drivers who were all murdered in the course of a week in Buenos Aires and this like 19 year old boy who was convicted of the crime and he I think confessed to the crime and he like basically was seen as being like a really normal kid by everyone around him and they were all like completely shocked that he turned out to be a serial killer. So I think that this is kind of about the author you know going to talk to him eventually after like years after the murders happened and figuring out what's going on I think maybe. And then finally I got uh, The Beekeeper of Aleppo. This is a book that I have to read for the book two prize. All of the other book two prize books I've either already read or I was able to get an ebook of it from the library and so I'd been reading it that way but this one had like a six month hold on the ebook version but it just happened to luckily be available in physical form at my library so as soon as I saw that and I saw that my library was going to be reopening this month I immediately put it on hold. So very very lucky that that worked out. All right so that is everything for this video. So basically I'm very happy with the way my reading has gone considering, you know, everything and the state of the world. And so my goals for quarter three are to read those three big books off my physical TBR, read through as many of these physical library books that I have over the course of the next couple of months, and then also to try to reduce my physical TBR to be under 30 books. I've like said those in the order of the priority that I have them because I also have to read the fiction books for the book two prize, which like I said, the majority of them I have is like physical ebooks or not physical ebooks as ebooks from the library. So like I have to do that over read like my physical TBR. So like I've said those in kind of the order of priority for me. And then we'll check in again in like, you know, September and see how things are going and assess from there. I mean, if I don't hit under 30 books, really, that's not a big deal for me. I really just don't want to increase my physical TBR at this point. But yeah, that's all I've got. Let me know down in the comments below how your reading has been going this year, if you've made goals and if you are even close to still keeping them, um, if you've adjusted your goals at all over the course of this year, or maybe now you are inspired to kind of like look at your goals and adjust and change them for the second half of the year. I think there's nothing wrong with that at all. I think that goals are meant to be realistic for the situation that you're in. And so I think literally everyone's situation has changed over the course of this year at least once if not multiple times and so you know kind of roll with the punches and like make adjustments and give yourself some grace and yeah let me know down in the comments below if you did change your reading goals what you changed them to so yeah that's all i have for now and thanks for watching mm -hmm.